good morning. Myself, Dr. T. Arun Srinivas from JP College of Engineering. We have installed uh, two uh, wind turbines over the uh, department, in the terrace of the department. One is a uh, vertical axis wind turbine and the other is a horizontal axis wind turbine. This is a vertical axis wind turbine. This one is a horizontal axis wind turbine. Uh, both these have the same capacity. They are 1000 watts each. So they have a maximum capacity of uh, producing 1000 watts uh, from each of them. Uh, these turbines uh, are uh, uh, with a rating of uh, 1000 watts, which means uh, when the wind speed is, the continuous wind speed is 2 meter per second, even at a 2 meter per second, they will be able to operate. Uh, but the uh, uh, horizontal axis wind turbine, even at a lower wind speed, I mean uh, uh, lesser than 2 meter per second, it is able to So its uh, continuous speed uh, is uh, even lesser than 2 meter per second. Uh, its uh, rated wind speed is uh, meter per second. The optimal wind speed uh, as far as uh, the simulations that we have performed in the simulation uh, we have uh, obtained it as uh, 12 meter per second. Uh, uh, the simulations have been performed by the uh, But the uh, maximum wind, tolerable wind speed is uh, 46, 45 to 46 meter per second. Uh, so this is uh, a second for wind energy conversion system that we have established in our simulation lab. This is an extension of simulation lab. So the, as we have seen in the uh, top floor, we have installed uh, uh, two wind turbines, one uh, horizontal axis wind turbine and the other uh, a vertical axis wind turbine over the triple department. Now the supply from those turbines are uh, uh, tapped in this room and we are, uh, the, those two turbines are actually PMSGs, permanent magnet synchronous generators. So the supply from that is uh, passed through uh, the protection switch followed by that MPPT is there, uh, maximum power point tracking system is there. Uh, from there we are uh, supplying it to batteries. Okay. So uh, for continuously monitoring the supply that we are receiving, we have made use of uh, two energy meters at the receiving side as well as uh, uh, near the load side. So essentially we are making use of uh, lighting loads here, two lighting loads, one for a horizontal axis wind turbine and another uh, supply derived from vertical axis wind turbine. Now the supply is stored in the battery and then it is uh, passed through uh, I mean, uh, an inverter to convert the DC into a AC and that AC is supplied further to the load. So continuous monitoring of uh, uh, parameters like uh, uh, voltage and the current and the energy that is continuously consumed that is monitored and uh, measured by using energy meters at the sending and the receiving side. Thank you.